Girl Scout cookies, anyone? Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Rebecca. I've got some new makeup for you and I am just excited to play. Hello, welcome, thanks so much for clicking on this video. I've got some PR, I've got some stuff I bought, and I think a lot of it is drugstore, but there might be some other higher end items snuck in. You know, no biggie, right? Okay, cool. Let's talk hard candy. They have a collab with Girl Scouts. It's Girl Scout cookie time. If you are in, I guess, the States um, or Canada, you know that March is like Girl Scout cookie time and my daughter was a brownie. I was a brownie for like, I don't know, a hot sec. I mean, like literally four months. I don't even know how many months I was a brownie. It was very short. Um, but Emma, my daughter, was a brownie for in her entire elementary school career. So we did Girl Scout cookies. Like I have, I remember so many hours outside of like Sam's Club, Walmart's, just out there with the little table, the little cash box. And you know, do you wanna buy some cookies? So <laughs> there is actually something missing out of here because Emma's already taken off with it. It was pretty cute, I'll tell you about it. So Hard Candy and Girl Scouts, this is the little makeup bag. They have a headband. This headband, look at this. It's it's cookies. It's so, it kind of reminds me of like a cat toy. Look at how cute this is. Oh wow, I've got some competing greens here. But yeah, this is adorable. This is adorable. Uh, Emma will definitely get that. Uh, there's nails. I believe this is available at Walmart. There are nail decals. Can we talk about how cute these are? If that doesn't make you nostalgic, it's a Girl Scout Refresh Mint Primer. You know me and mint things. I don't put them on my skin. Honestly, this has some ingredients in here that could be helpful, like niacinamide and glycerin, but there is a menthol aspect to it later on in the ingredient deck, so I'm just avoiding this altogether. Um, but it promises a frozen chill to your skin. It's supposed to refresh the skin. I think there's even caffeine in it, so I totally get what they're trying. Um, here is the Caramel Queen Shadow. There's three shadow palettes, so this is very much like the, the Samoas. So it's called the Caramel Queen. <clears throat> so if you're looking for purples, but actually look at all the browns. Caramels, right? We've got caramels with some Plum, then trefoil. I always call them trefoils, but I think they're called trefoils. It's the, the butter cookie. Oh, this is so pretty. So then this is lots of neutrals. You've got your like buttery shortbread shades, but with some really pretty, ooh, those are some gorgeous blue hues. And I think this is like a navy. So I'm really enjoying this. I think you can wear this as a highlighter. And then this, has more brown, like fudgy, like thin mint shades <laughs> with gorgeous green. I guess I missed my chance for St. Patrick's Day. I feel like there's a scent here, but maybe a little bit of a, a sweet, kind of like it's supposed to be a cookie scent. I didn't smell that with the others. I suppose this, um, this is definitely an eyeshadow palette. I will not be using this for highlighter, but I really like the, the neutrals. Sometimes when you've got this cardboard as a backdrop, it gives you a little bit of a trick and you think, oh my God, those are so bright, but I actually think there's a lot of neutrals in here. In the collection, they do have some powder face puffs. I am absolutely breaking these out. These are mine. Sorry, Emma. <laughs> these are so cute in the Girl Scout little symbol. Um, I love, I love how these feel. I will be using them for powder, absolutely. Then we have Girl Scout Cookie Glaze. This is a velvety smooth lip color in trefoil. This looks phenomenal. I can't wait to try it. And then this mascara is Girl Scout Cookie Batter, and it's a dark chocolate mascara. So I'm curious to see how this performs. And then one other thing that's in here that I absolutely love is this 
lip oil. There's a second one and Emma has already stolen it and it is the coconut one. It is phenomenal. The This one is in the Thin Mint um, theme. It is so good, it's yummy, it's not too ridiculous, and it's just a great lip oil. So if you happen to see this at Walmart um, when you're shopping, I would definitely pick one up. Um, Color Pop has new blush sticks. I believe they've added some shades to their blush sticks, or maybe these are now at Target. I can't remember, they sent these to me in PR, like they're new. Um, and I always love their blush sticks. So I'm gonna swatch, swatch, swatch these. Wow, I'm gonna swatch these for you. This is called shade Cool It. And it's, ooh, I actually was expecting it to be more baby pink. I love this. Ooh, I love that. Mini Me is this shade. And I, okay, so that's maybe more of the, the baby pink. Um, Cottage Life. If I have um, amnesia and already used these before, please, my apologies. Ooh, I love this. <gasps> Ooh, it's kind of peachy, kind of, oh, I love that. And then we've got 25.8. Ooh, is that more kind of, oh, yes. Apricot, kind of apricot peach, cute. Oh, I love them. I'm probably like this, these two on the end are my favorite. Well, mm, I like them all. What can I say? Uh, look at Wet n Wild. They have a mega glow lip and cheek color and it's liquid. This reminds me a little bit of wait, the e.l.f. camo color that came out. This is shade, um, there was, I got this at Target and I think there was like three or four shades. This one is called Rosy Romance. I picked it because it looked um, a little bit more neutral. I try to find blush shades that aren't too, too pink, too cool pink. And this is actually kind of perfect. Um, I have played with it a little bit and it is a little bit more sheer than the e.l.f. because the e.l.f. one is a bit overwhelming and pigmented and this one kind of has a nice uh, blendable wash of color to it. All right, so this is from Makeup Revolution. It's called Bright Light. Yes, it looks like a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. It is not. I mean, it is not not a great product. It's just, it's not a dupe. And because the Charlotte Tilbury has more coverage, this one is very much like a luminizer, just something to get you a little bit of radiance. And it comes in different shades. It's got the big doe foot. It's also very much like the e.l.f., but um, yeah. So I'll show you. What shade do I have? light. So it's called a three in one, four in one face glow. Um, well, I mean, actually it's very, hmm, I bet you people are going to get all excited and think this is like a Charlotte Tilbury do, but I don't think so, but it's still lovely. Like that's beautiful, right? Then Wet n Wild also made a liquid glow. So this is called Glow in Love. It has 4% niacinamide and 8%, does it say glycerin? So this is very much a hydrating luminizer. You can use it however you want, before, during, after. And I actually think this is beautiful. Oh, I've got things. So it's, thinner. This one has a little bit more of a thinner consistency. You can see it doesn't have the same amount of like coverage, but it's still really lovely. And with the niacinamide in there, it is kind of helping your texture. The glycerin, of course, is great for hydrating. 
this does a good job of tricking the eye to kind of look like, oh, flaws are a little bit more minimized. And I feel like the Wet n Wild doesn't do that as much. It just provides a nice glow. I actually think this would be really pretty over makeup. So I might do it um, as a last step. This one has a little bit of a dry down, but you can see how there's a little bit more of that pearl finish. And then this one is just very, very sheer. Let's talk Physicians Formula. They have a new BB cream. It is in their Diamond Perfector. I feel like this is going to be a love-hate product. I haven't seen the reactions or reviews yet, but for me, I thought, you know, there's pros and there's cons. So this is shade light to medium. The shade selection is very limited. However, it is supposed to be a BB cream. It's supposed to be a sheer kind of adaptable cream, liquid lotion that isn't a foundation. It's only meant to kind of just enhance, just kind of, you know, yeah. So when you put it on, like you're putting on a foundation, you're not going to get what you want from it. It's gonna kinda of look sheer and streaky, but if you put it on like a BB cream and just press it into the skin, you're gonna see it does a little bit of enhancement. Okay, and I think they make a blush, kind of a cheek product like this too. So here is the light medium it's really light and I actually think that this product behaves a little bit like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Hollywood Filter because it has, it's sheer, it has a luminous finish, but it also has a little bit of coverage. It's very much no makeup makeup. It is not foundation. So that's why I think there's gonna be people who are very disappointed in it. And then I think there's gonna be people who are like, okay, this is nice. Still seeing more coverage on this side. So that makeup revolution, I'm gonna take back what I said. Oh, everybody's coming out with bronze drops. This is a serum bronzer. I think there's, it's called Sun Kiss Glow. I think there's another shade. So I recently showed you the Indeed glow drops and I recently showed you the Pacifica drops. Of course, Drunk Elephant. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot of brands that are coming out with these bronze drops. Bleh, bronze drops. These are scented just slightly and it's sheer. You can see how they are just intended to warm the skin, give it a hint just a hint. I don't know though, you know, right now I'm, I better, I need to put on more foundation. That's what I need to do. But I do think that these are nice. And I think if you put them in with the BB cream, right? Maybe that's what I should do. Let's play, right? Let's let's see what we get here. Okay, I take it back. I'm actually really loving this. I think if you didn't like the e.l.f., if you thought it was a little too thick, you might like this more. It's like... Oh, oh, okay. My face. Alrighty. Oh, I need to remember my forehead. I have a zit on my forehead, and so I've been kind of like staying away. It's like, <laughs> I'm hoping that if I don't touch it or pay attention to it, it's just gonna go away. Everything feels very much like it's got skincare in it, you know, like, okay. 
we've got highlighter wands, LA Girl, contour wand, glow wand. So far, there was only one shade at Target. This is Summer Nights. Some love and half. Sorry. So, so far only one shade is available in this and I do feel that it has a little more of a red, it's got a little more pigment than the Milani and the e.l.f. version. I can't remember anything these days. We have new powder from Essence. This is the Keep Me Covered powder. I haven't decided yet if this is supposed to be like powder foundation or just powder powder. I'm gonna use this. Ah, that's nice. Okay. Let's see. Okay, and then let's try that LA Girl highlighter. Okay, this looks really pretty. So it's a very, very sheen, kind of a pink. Doesn't have a ton of like, doesn't look too glittery. It's got a lot of that mica pigment reflection to it nice okay yeah that's pretty not sure if this is supposed to come in other shades as well so okay eyebrows 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 I'm gonna put the Physicians Formula Diamond Bronzer, the cream. I tried this in a previous video and I love it. No mystery. I have the shade Bronze Gem and I think it's the lighter of the, I think there's only two shades. Oh, Physicians Formula, you're killing me. I am going to go into the Buttery Bestie palette. Ooh, I'm gonna use this shade right here. I'm gonna, ooh, that's, that's beautiful. What's this shade like? Ooh, that's a little more smoky than I thought. And then is this the navy? Yep. Oh, ooh, that's lovely. Okay. Shortbread, that is pigmented. This one right here. Love it. Love it. This one. How does this look? Ooh, no, don't do that here. Let's see what this blue, this shimmery blue looks like. It's got a little bit of a spray over. 
Oh, it's glitter. It's it's glitter. Hang on, let me see if there's anything underneath. I'm all. What's what is underneath you? Yeah, glitter, glitter. That's a no for me. I can't. It's a gorgeous shade, but I can't. I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous on there. How am I? How do I do? How do I? I can't make that work. Okay, so yeah, the blue had to wash that off my hand just to be sure I don't uh, make a mess of things. So I uh, I do love, however, everything else going on here. I'm going to take a short shader brush and I am going to make a little bit of a smoky eye with this kind of charcoal -y brown. It looks brown in the pan and then it kind of looks very charcoal gray uh, in real life in real life, you know what I mean? The thing about hard candy that I love so much is their shader crayons. So I think I'm going to put on, I'm gonna use Pony right along my lower lash line, along with that I just did. And then I'm gonna go ahead on my upper lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with this powder puff. Yeah, and that's it. Pretty. I want to put this blush on from Wet n Wild. I am going to use this same stipple brush I used earlier. Okay, that goes on really nicely. It is not patchy. Now I'm gonna try it with my finger. Oh yeah, that's nice. I really like this blush. Okay, cute, cute, cute. Cookie Butter Indulgent Volumizing Mascara in brown. I love this packaging. Us fair folks have a uh, known about brown mascara for a long time. I don't know if I have any hard candy mascaras that I'm in love with. So I'm gonna see what I think of this. The bristles are hourglass and full. It's a very bushy, bushy brush. I do like the brown. This is a cool, this is a really good, rich brown shade. I don't know if it's enough though. I am going to put on my other eye. I'm gonna do the Wet n Wild, the new So Defined. Let's see, I'm really liking that one. Did it over here. 
it's such a, it really is a cool um it's really a nifty little color shift on that brown looks a bit reddish and I kind of dig it so yeah all right gotta try the the lip pencil I hope they're coming out with more of these a little bit of a little bit of cookie Oh yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, hard candy. Killing it at the lit products. Ah. <gasps> uh. I really really like that. All right, I think I'm gonna stop right here and enjoy my Girl Scout face and some of these products, so much fun. And I want to say in review, I think the products that surprised me the most that I liked is this Revolution Bright Light. I think it's a very beautiful, workable kind of skin enhancer. And I think that the BB cream from Physicians Formula is also kind of fun to play with. Just something real sheer, very casual, and I love the hard candy, the trefoil um, lipstick cookie glaze velvety smooth lip color. Awesome. And this, this is pretty too. This is pretty. Like look at my shadow is so, it has so much punch to it. Well, all right. All right, folks, I will list everything in the description box. And thank you so much for watching. I will be continuing to share more stuff as it comes in. And I'm trying it so you can see for yourself how it performs. And let me know what you think in the comments. Drop me a subscribe. Drop me a subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell too if you want, if you want to be notified when I drop an album, also known as a YouTube video. Very cringe, that was a mom joke, dad joke. Alrighty, take care, I'll see you next time, bye.